In this video, I'm going to share with you top features that makes VLC media player the best media player ever. And I think with these cool features, it's going to remain the best player for quite some time. So be sure to stay with me until the end of the video to have an idea of why VLC is still VLC and will remain VLC the best media player ever. So before we start, let me show a very quick way of how to download this very important software called VLC. So to download VLC player, you can come to Google and just search VLC player, right? You can see it at the top here. It's available for Windows, Mac, Android, Linux, and even iOS. So you can just download directly by click on download VLC. And then you have it here downloaded. You can just click on show in folder to go to the location where this particular software is saved. And then you can install it directly. On opening it, you should be welcomed with a screen like this so let me take you through the 13 features that i find very useful in this media player the first feature is screen recording now you can do screen recording directly with media player just like the way you do with camtasia and other screen recording software so to do that all you need to do is to come over to media open capture device and then you can come to capture device here you can select on desktop you want to record the desktop so the desired frame rate usually is between 30 and 60. You can put 30 and then you can come down here and click on this drop down and click on convert. So the next thing is you can come here and specify the output. Okay, the output setting you click on here. You want to, I usually use the H.264 plus MP3, which is the best. And you can come over here and specify the location where you want to save the file and give it a name. Okay, you can click on browse and then you come here and just give it a name and you save and once you save you click on start it will start recording your screen once we are done with the recording we can always click on stop in the vlc player to stop the recording and you can always find the recorded video in the destination you have specified you can do webcam recording directly using uh, this vlc player to do that you can come over to media and go to open device capture click on direct show so you can click on video device here okay, you can select your device that you want to use for example i can select this long cap my webcam and then you can select the audio device that you want to use i can select my road empty usb once you are done you can just come over here and click on convert and the same way you can put in the video format put in the location where you want to save it and once you are done you click on start it will start just like the way we did for the other recording and once you are done you click on stop on the media player and it stops recording then you can have your webcam recording in the location that you have specified the next feature is how to take snapshot of a part of a video so for example while you are watching your, your video and you intend to take a snapshot of a particular section of it to do that all you need to do is to come over to the video and right click and come over to video here you come all the way down to take snapshot as you take snapshot it's going to snap it you can check the images directly in your picture you can just go to your picture and you see the images that you have snapped picture here you can see the images that you have snapped just now another feature that is very very fantastic with vlc player is the convert option vlc can convert your media either video or audio to any kind of file format you can convert from mp3 to other formats in terms of audio and you can convert from any kind of format in video to another format. Maybe you can convert from video to audio as well. To do that, all you need to do is to come over to the media here and come straight down to convert save. So you can add the file that you want to convert. For example, I can just add one of my media here. Once you import it, you can come over to convert save here. You can click on the drop down and click on convert to bring you here to select the kind of format that you want to convert it to. From MP4, maybe I want to convert it to mp3 and once you click on it you can specify the direction where you want it to be saved so i can put in any name and it's going to convert it to mp3 so save you are comfortable with everything then you can click on start and it will convert this audio to mp3 the next feature is you can record your video or audio file while you are playing it on vlc player so to do that all you need to do is to come over to view and go straight down to advanced controls here on clicking on advanced control you see this record button showing up so once you want to start recording any part of the video or you want to start recording in the video you click on record and once you are done recording 
you click on stop using the same icon you can add video effects uh, while you are watching your movie or video on the vlc player so to add a particular video effect uh, on vlc player all you need to do is to come over to tools here and come to effects and filters and then you navigate to video effects and you have the options down here you can do essentials adjust image you can sharpen the, the video and you can crop to any position just specify which position you will come crop and you can play with the coloration geometry overlay and you can even come to advanced so once you're done playing around with these features you can always remember to save click the save to take effect on your video now it is possible for you to download and to stream video live on vlc player so to, to stream video live on VLC player, all you need to do is to navigate to the website where you have that particular video that you want to stream. For example, this video, and then you can come over here and copy the URL. And then you come back to your VLC player, you come to media here, you come to open network stream. And you can paste the URL that you just copied from that video. And once you click on play, it's going to start playing from the internet directly. In today's video, I want to share with you five key tips and tricks now if you want to download this video into your computer all you need to do is to come over to tools here and you come to codec information over here and then you can copy this url completely this location you copy it completely and then you right click and say copy then you come back to your browser and paste it and hit enter and once the video start playing you can pause it and right click and say save this video as and then you specify which location you want it to be saved once you specify give it a name and then you can click on save yeah if you are like many people you always want your videos to start on full screen but then there is a cool feature in vlc player that you can click and it will make the default of all your videos to start on full screen to get to that feature all you need to do is to come over to tools here and then move straight down to preferences come to video and you can come to full screen here you click on full screen and you remember to save so if you start any of your video it's going to go straight to full screen for you to be able to open more than one videos within the same media player all you need to do is to come to toolbars here and go to preferences while you are on interface uncheck this only one instance when started from the file manager you can uncheck this and click on save you can open multiple instances of vlc and watch them simultaneously if you want another cool feature with vlc player is you can bookmark your videos at points that you like and you can always revisit them to rewatch according to your timing okay so to bookmark a particular video all you need to do is to navigate to the location where you want to bookmark where you're watching and you can come over to playback and you come to custom bookmark okay you click a bookmark here and then you can just click on create once you are at the point of the bookmarking you can bookmark again from another point maybe at the end of the video and then you can create a bookmark you can create as many bookmarks as you want and then you can always come back and rewatch those points. The next cool feature that we have in VLC player is we can add a watermark to our videos. So to add a watermark to your video, all you need to do is to come to tools here and come back to effects and filters. And then you can come and straight away to video effects and you can come to overlay. You can either add a logo by clicking on this and then you can add the logo directly. For example, here we have our Epic Mentorship logo. You can resize it. You can reposition it to wherever you want in the in the video. And then you can check the opacity. You can increase or decrease the opacity. You can specify the position and you can make it a text also. For example, you can have this confidential text. And once you select it, it's going to show confidential here. And you can select a particular location that you want it to appear whether at the center at the top right and or placed at that particular location another very important feature that we have in vlc is the you can play around with your audio you can use the audio settings without you downloading an audio editing software so all you need to do is to come over to equalizer down here and you can see the different audio effects you can enable it directly here and then you can play around with it there are a series of preset settings that you can use according to your choice you can play around with this 
And then you have other options like compressors, specializer, stereo widener, and advanced setting over here. You can play around with all these settings on your audio effects. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And remember to hit the like and subscribe button to stay connected to this channel for more of our useful videos. I'll see you in my next video. It's